Well, really, it's been lifelong. It, it just takes over part of your life, really. You go to new places, you tend to have to deal with new situations, which means it could get worse. So it, it really comes into play on a daily basis from the minute you leave the house to the minute you get back. Uh, it can just kind of cause a constant worry, stress, um, and a kind of paranoia about it as well. I wouldn't say it's curable, but it's interesting to now see that there are ways of managing it. The thing that most people say, and I'm not sure if it's just to reassure you, is it's not as bad as you think it is, because you get so paranoid about it and you, you look at it so intently that it, 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 it kind of becomes worse than it actually is. There have been times when people notice it, especially if you get very dry skin on your head and face, then basically you end up with what looks like dandruff all over your upper body. So you know, you're aware that people can see that. But it's one of those things where people um, won't really mention it that much. Um, and you're just then paranoid that you know that they can see it and they're not saying it. So when I was younger, uh, I remember at school a couple of times if you get into an argument with another kid and you're bickering about something, then yeah, it would be something that they could use to, to have a go at you. So I, I remember that, yeah. So many factors of aspects of my life have been affected by eczema. It's definitely one for work because you don't have access to all your moisturisers and you're in an office environment. Um, on the weekends, you have the ability to be able to maybe go home and, and, and change it and you know, add more moisturisers or, or get away. But obviously at work, you're there from, from nine to five. Um, essentially, the GPs have a very limited array of approaches. I think you have to see a specialist and sadly in my situation I had to push very hard to get my GP to even refer me to a specialist so I, I didn't even get seen until I was 38. Some past flare-ups, um, some really bad ones, um, the, one of the most memorable is um, being on holiday, being away from, um, and I didn't pack, I, I left my moisturiser at home, I left the one moisturiser that was the, the, the thing that I thought was, you know, was going to be able to manage this while I was away. And I, I just thought, okay, let's just try and ride this out. And it just got worse and worse and worse. And I ended up in hospital in India, waiting there, not knowing what was going to happen. And um, my skin, it was, it was horrendous. Um, it flared up to the point where you get something called wet eczema, which is where the skin is just damp, where your skin is, is trying to heal itself in some way. And it just it feels like it's leaking moisture. And, and inevitably, I got infected. Then I had to travel for 36 hours with this developing skin condition and you just you just feel lost and you don't know where you can get help it's just one of the most horrific things I feel like there is some hope that with the right help you may be able to manage it I'm not quite sure what the resolution is and I'm sure it's very different for different people and I think it takes time to look into it but I think the first thing I'd say is that you must get professional help beyond your GP